In problem number 19 of section 1.2.1, we're given uh, a function uh, y in terms of x. We're asked to solve, um, solve y for, a, or solve, uh, for x in this equation and calculate the instantaneous rate of change with respect to y um, at the point y equals 49. And we're also going to assume that x is greater than 0. So the first step is um, to solve this for x. And it's a little bit easier if you notice that we can write this as y equals um, x plus 3 squared. Now, we can take the square root of both sides. So we have x plus 3 is equal to plus or minus the square root of y. And, of course, that means that y or excuse me, that um, x is equal to uh, plus or minus square root of y uh, minus 3. Now, we want to calculate the instantaneous rate of change of uh, x with respect to y now at the point y equals uh, 49. So, first step here is just to set up um, the formula involving h. So we have um, let's see, hold on. Oh, uh, of course we have plus or minus here. We need to know exactly, well, are we looking at the positive value or the negative value? Um, see that this means that x is equal to well, plus or minus uh, square root of 49, so plus or minus 7. So if we have minus 7, then we have uh, minus 10. If we have plus 7, we have 4. So the value of, that we need is 4, so this will actually be a positive uh, square root of y minus 3. So now we can look at, um, we want to look at, um, at the following formula as h goes to 0. That's um, y plus h minus 3 minus uh, square root of y minus 3 over h. Now, uh, we want to also evaluate this when y is equal to 49. This will be equal to square root of 49 plus h. Uh, here we'll have minus 3 and positive 3, so those cancel out. We'll have minus uh, square root 49 uh, over h, which of course is equal to square root of 49 plus h minus 7 over h. And now we can uh, multiply by the conjugate of the numerator. So this is square root of 49 plus h plus 7 over the same thing in the denominator. This means that in the numerator we get 49 plus h. And then the mixed terms will cancel each other out. So we have negative 7 times everything in the square root, or everything under the radical here, and positive 7 times the same. And then minus 49 over h times the quantity square root 49 plus h plus 7. And of course the 49s cancel out. And now we have an h in each term of the numerator and the denominator, so we can also ca cancel h out. That leaves us with 1 over square root of 49 plus h plus 7. Now, we're interested in what happens when h gets really close to 0, but here we can actually substitute in uh, h equals 0. 
And we have 1 over square root of 49, or 7, plus 7, which gives us our final answer of 1 14th for the instantaneous rate of change of x with respect to y when y is equal to 49 and x is greater than 0.